Hey guys, welcome to my getting started with website development series. In this series, I'm going to be going over a couple of tools and a couple of resources that I wish I knew about when I started website development. Um, if you don't know what website development is, it is coding websites and developing software solutions to people's problems, whether that be businesses, whether that be an actual piece of software that people are going to be using as part of their back end. Um, and then I have another series which is going to be website design and it's going to be going over the sort of design techniques and understanding the principles there but to start off my series I'm going to go over the number one most controversial subject when it comes to development which is your setup and I've recently been using a code editor called Atom and you've probably heard about it before. If you haven't, there's probably other ones you've heard about, such as Notepad++, which I've used before, um, Dreamweaver, which I started out on. Um, what other ones are there? I did use Brackets.io for a while. That was pretty cool. And they all sort of have their own advantages and disadvantages, which I could go over, but I recommend you have a look at it in your own time because it's all sort of up to the individual. But I find that Atom is the best because it has the most support. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download, install and set up Atom. So first off we're on the atom.io. I'll leave a link in the description for all of you lazy students. And you can click <laughs> download and we'll begin the download. I cancelled the one before because I was doing a test run. Um, so at the moment I'm running on a virtual machine if you don't know what that is don't worry about it it's basically me saying this is Windows but it's not actually Windows it's just a fake setup um, and that's just so I can install the program again and run you through how it works and what I did to set up because on my actual computer I've already got it set up um, so that's going to take about two minutes, so I'm just going to do a quick fast forward. Cool, so now we have our installation file downloaded. We can start running through the app and setup. Uh, I'm just going to run it straight from the Chrome browser. Um, as you can see, it's 115 megs, so it did take a little while. So depending on your connection, it could take somewhere between less than a minute up to about 10 minutes. Um, is it opening? Should open any second now. Um, because I'm running on a virtual machine, it is going to be a tad bit slower than it normally would be. And it's just loading up. And here we go. So Atom is being installed and it will launch when it's done. So, I haven't run the installation in a while. Um, I imagine there wouldn't be any settings that I guess I'd have to go through as most normal programs where you, you know, check boxes and say what features you want because a lot of what you can do with Atom is going to be from within the actual application. It's not sort of like uh, if you want to. Uh, I'm rambling now. Um, So now we've run the file, Atom just installed, it's an automatic install, you won't need to check any boxes or select any, I don't know, folder paths or whatever. And now we have an untitled window with Atom. I'm just going to make that full screen. And we now have the tabs that you'd normally get with Atom. Um, you can choose to opt in to help or not help, I might as well opt in and then you have the welcome guide. So by here you'll have step-by-steps on how you should learn Atom. I'm just gonna run through a couple of things. So to open a project, you just click open a project and we can say this would be website, select the folder, and now we have this sort of tree view on the side. So if I added in any files, so for example, index.html, then we have that at the side, and we can have uh, style.css. So now we have the two files, and if we close the tabs, we can still get to them on the tree view by single clicking 
to open and I'm pretty sure yeah when you close them they're just there um, you can also hide the tree view by right clicking and hiding it um, so that's the basic premise we already know how to open up files and folders you can go in here and do so so open file control O on a windows and open folder control shift O but that's a basic feature like it's nothing special and it's not um, exclusive to Atom to open up a folder or a file in tree view but here is where we start to get into the cool stuff so install package you can either install a package by uploading the file or you can search from within the Atom dashboard so Atom clock for example which is one I have installed on my normal setup it, it'll just display a clock in the status bar I think it should be in the bottom right hand corner and it's just grabbing the package from online unzipping it or unpackaging it and then installing it into the software um, so I have it installed and now you can see that we have the time in the bottom right hand corner uh, sounds really stupid but if you only have one monitor and the times hidden for some reason then you'll have it on Atom at all times one of my favorite ones is I think we search icon I think it's called file, yeah, file icons. So if I install that, once again, it'll take a little while. So it's just grabbing all the files it needs, unpackaging them, and installing them into Atom. Um, another thing too that we're going to go into in a second is themes. Um, but now, when I go into my website, you can see that any HTML5 file has the HTML5 icon and same for CSS and if we made a JavaScript file so script.js you can see the icon appears on the tree view and in the tab view so that's installing packages really powerful you can get some really really cool stuff and I'm going to be referencing that a lot in the beginner series because there are going to be some tools that we will want to use which I won't go into now because it's for another video but we will be using packages in order to compile certain code so the next thing to learn is to choose a theme um, as I said we can search for it the same way we would search for a package or we can just use one of the default ones so there's atom light, atom dark um, so the UI well, that, that hit my eyes a bit um, <laughs> the UI is just sort of like how you'd view it it's kind of looks a bit like Chrome in a way um, but the syntax is the same sort of styles as before but you can then change this to base tomorrow base 16 tomorrow dark and it would sort of be different I'm not sure what that line is but I'm going to go over the ones that I use um, so these are the installed ones if we go into install and go to themes I usually install I don't install those ones I'm um, trying to look for sort of like a material oh it might be because I already had a search term in there material okay there we go so atom material UI and atom material syntax these are the ones that I prefer everyone's different so you know have a play around find one that you like but this one is quite popular and I assume for good reason because it's a really really nice UI um, just waiting for that to install and now if I go into my themes we'll have the new options for atom material and then we can set this to atom material as well and I don't know, I just find this a lot like it just looks better in my opinion um, 
So that's the premise of getting some packages and themes installed. And the last thing I'm going to go over is uh, general settings. So if you press control comma, I'm not sure the, you can get to it from the file view as well. Then you can go into core and you have a bunch of settings. Um, these are all sort of general settings. The editor also has a bunch of settings you might want to change. So for example, my tab, I don't tab two spaces, I tab four spaces. So now when I go into my code, I can do HTML and tab and it's four spaces instead of the two from before. So I can't really go over everything that's in this, but if I were you, I would definitely check out the settings and make sure they work for you. Um, this video has been quite a long one. Um, I probably skimmed over quite a few bits, but it's been a while since I made a video. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot more content coming out. I definitely recommend Atom, and I'm going to be using a lot of the packages that we have available in Atom in future videos.